Hello, I am Sarah Milliken and this is episode three of How to Be Champion Story Time. I'm going to stick with story time. I was thinking of Jack and Ori, but my husband suggested Jack and Jody. I just don't, I don't quite think it works. Anyway, uh, if you're having a good day today, well done. If you're not having a good day, let's try and rectify that with a little bit of silly, silly storytelling. So here we go. Uh, we're now, helpfully, uh, episode three starts with chapter two. Oh, that's helpful, isn't it? Anyway, uh, and chapter two is called What I Was Like at School. Now, you can probably hazard a guess, but let's fill you in properly. Growing up in South Shields, I went to Mortimer Primary and Comprehensive Schools. Once on my way there, I befriended a frog and was genuinely surprised after the bell went at the end of the day that he hadn't waited for me for the seven hours I'd been gone. Or, you know, gone about his day and then come back at 3.50pm to meet me. I was generally good at school, clever, keen, and lo I loved learning. Um, here's a pretty good summation of what it was like. Feel free to pop on the Sam Cooke classic, What a Wonderful World, for this bit. I don't know much about history. We had a mean history teacher who used to initial the centre pages of our exercise books so we couldn't use them for more fun things like drawing and paper cuts. But he wasn't that bright. We used to undo the staples, take the initial pages out, nab the pages underneath for paper aeroplanes and kill lists, and then replace the initialed ones. Ha! We won that one. I never did that, though. When I say we, I mean we, the kids. We, the kids in the class. We were such a crazy bunch, always up to mischief, all getting along and chatting to each other. When I say we, I really mean they. I was very much looking on in disapproval a lot of the time, siding with the teachers and sometimes grassing people up. Don't know much bu about biology. We did science double awards, so I learned a tiny amount about all three sciences. Also, rumour had it that two of the science teachers were humping, so the biology lessons always had an extra friss on. That sort of biology I didn't have to put into practice for a good while yet. Same as sex education. I really should have taken notes to refer back to, though. I remember the period lesson very well. The boys were sent away to watch cartoons while we learned about becoming a woman. I assume that when I talk about clotting or heavy flow or my tits on knacking, my husband's just chuckling to himself about the Flintstones and Scooby-Doo. Sure, that's a great way to prepare men for adulthood. I agree with those who say boys should be in class too, uh, should be in that class too, repeating aloud, sorry your tits are knack and love, do you want me to get you some dairy milk? My husband calls dairy milk lady medicine because it fixes his lady. During our period lesson, one of the cool girls had something to say. We were all ears. While the nurse was showing us the model of half a woman so we could see where the tampon went, this girl said, my friend, right? shoved a tap on so far up that it came out of our bum. The nurse was momentarily stunned and our shoulders were already starting to go with the beginnings of an eruption of laughter. We just wanted to check it definitely wasn't possible first. <laughs> to prove it definitely wasn't, the nurse put one finger up the fanny channel and one up the bum and showed us that A, they don't meet and B, a sexual trick that was not on the curriculum. Science. The above. French. I was very good at French but don't remember much now as I was as it was proved on a recent trip to Paris where I panicked and asked for les nuggets de poulet. Oh yes, weed in classy joints. But at school I was good and I loved it. I did it at A level too alongside German, maths and later on media studies. I didn't do brilliantly in my A levels which will be the first my mum's neighbour has heard of it. <laughs> She thinks I've got two A's and a B because my mum likes to brag. Presumably, she's having a field day now. I was skinny at school and I remember the French teacher once describing me as fat to help everyone learn adjectives. Hmm, merci, chienne. That's thanks, bitch, in French. Also, thanks to Google, who provided that, as I can all remember, où est la piscine, for obvious reasons. And that is the end of episode three. Uh, join us tomorrow for episode four, and until then... Uh, look after yourselves, take care, stay in the house, wash your fucking hands. Lots of love. Bye-bye. Hello, it's Sarah Milliken here. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with all of my latest videos. Don't forget to like, pop a comment below and why not stick around to watch a few more. I'm sure those emails or those dishes can wait a bit longer.